Hi there, my name is Paul Alexander. I'm not going to beat around the bungalow. Um, I am very definitely against the motion. Um, marketeers should be free to use any customer data they wish. The word free in that sentence is what I take massive issue with. Um, is behavioral targeting a friend or a foe? Well, a friend from a consumer's perspective is it saves me time. It takes me to where I need to go quickly. It uh, can inspire and engage me. It gives me new things to think about and talk about with my friends. It aids my recall of brands when I want to do something, I remember them, and I don't need to trawl through Google every time and do the same thing again and again and again. And it can help make sure that I buy the right product or service for me. From a commercial perspective, is it a friend? Well, it gives my business focus. I think we've heard that a couple of times on the consumer rather than on the product. It facilitates a learning organization through watching how and when behaviors change. And it saves valuable resources, wasted time, effort, and paper on the wrong customer. To address another part of the question, which is how much do I mind if someone is actually watching my behavior? Well, in reality, is that really a relevant question in today's world? Consumers actually got the loyalty contract a long time ago. Every day in personal stuff, uh, how irritating would it be if every time I went online to order my gro groceries, I had to key in my regular items? I'd like that data to be stored somewhere. Um, highly personal stuff. How irritating would it be if I joined a dating site with my sexual preferences on there, but every time I went on there, it didn't actually have those stored? So <laughs> how much do I mind if someone is sharing my behavior is really the relevant question for today. And I think this is the area in which we should actually focus in on. When is sharing data going a bit too far? Well, the blatant, blatant sharing of personal information. If I, as a consumer, make a contract with an organization and decide to let that organization have my data, I've made it with that organization. If you look at the T's and C's of a number of organizations who, when you sign up to a credit card, I think it looked at three different organizations before coming here. Two of those organizations were very <coughs> obtuse about the way in which they were going to use my data. It was in their T's and C's, and you had to look very hard to find it. One organization was very blunt. It was cap Capital One. Capital One said, we are going to use your data. We're going to use it. We're going to give it to lots of people, and you're going to get lots of rubbish through the post. They were very blatant, but at least they were honest about it. So how much do I mind um, if someone is sharing my data? Well, the, morally, it's wrong. It's not your business's data. It is customer's data. It's consumer data. Unless you can say hand on heart that you're completely transparent about those permissions. Environmentally, we've got enough problems with, with wastage in our daily lives, knowingly, knowingly actually printing thousands upon thousands of wasteful um, pieces of communication is, is, um, is unnecessary. So how much do I mind as a consumer if someone is sharing my behavior? Um, today's consumers don't want to be targeted by traditional methods. We live in a world of voluntary engagement. We want to volunteer that engagement. Do I want a relationship with my shower gel provider? No. Use my information, behavioral, in an anonymous way to understand my likes and dislikes so you can design and develop new products and services for me, but please stop invading my personal space, and this is happening more and more, especially with email. The industry has abused consumers' good nature for years by chucking rubbish through their front doors, and it's only happening more and more now with, with, with email in particular. And in a, did, in a digital and data age, brands and their marketing departments need to grow up. The days when actually free access to consumers is a given are numbered. So on a personal note, I now receive nearly every communication, such as bills, statements, etc., from businesses electronically. The only reason why my front door needs a letterbox is for my birthday and Christmas cards. So how long until the letterbox is nothing more than actually a quaint feature on an old-fashioned building? Um, foe about behavioral targeting. The only reason why behavioral targeting is actually a foe is for dinosaurs that don't get it. The big lumbering organizations still find the, the concept of knowing who your customers are a challenge or a distraction from operational priorities is, 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 are, are hopefully on the way out. It's not rocket science, but it's a skill. Does your business truly have the skills to process and transform millions and sometimes billions of rows of data into actionable insights? The high-performance retailers have recognized this and adapted accordingly. 
So, in summary, the answer is no. Free and unfettered use of behavioral data, of consumers' own data, is a very unwise thing to do. Thank you.